Swedish business in Poland has a large footprint with more than 100,000 people employed. But with a foreign investment in another country comes large responsibility, both when it comes to things like sustainability, but also when it comes to how companies handle a crisis like the one we have today. The Swedish embassy in Warsaw would like to highlight how Swedish companies manage in the corona crisis, a crisis which has affected our lives, our societies and our companies. I have the pleasure today to speak with Karolina Garcia Gomez, CEO and CSO of IKEA Retail in Poland. Karolina, nice speaking to you. Nice, thank you so much. As I understand, you are in the IKEA office now and IKEA is actually the largest employer of Swedish origin in Poland. As I understand, you have been uh, needed to close down all of your stores and a large part of your uh, production units are standing still. How do you manage to deal with this situation in a responsible and in a sustainable way and at the same time caring for your employees? Yeah. Thank you so much. And, uh, and yeah, of course, I think this is uh, unprecedented uh, times for all of us. And as you say, it's affecting all. And uh, in our case, it's, uh, it's not only, as you say, retail and the 11 stores that we have closed, but also we have uh, the uh, entire supply chain in, in Poland and is the second biggest producer for IKEA World. So this is uh, not only what is happening in Poland, but what is happening in the rest of the world is affecting the 18 factories and more than 90 suppliers that we have in IKEA. So that's why I think uh, from the beginning uh, when uh, this um, situation started, uh, one of the main uh, challenge for us, uh, it, ha it was how to balance three things. The first one is the people's safety. And when we talk about the people's safety, of course, is the health in the short term with the corona situation, but also the safety in the future. What can happen uh, in the future to all our colleagues in, in the organization? The second one has, is how to balance this one with the business and business continuity and how we will transform the business uh, when the situation like this is occurring. And the third one is how uh, to what is the responsibility in the community that we are and how we can contribute to that. So in these three things, there has been a lot of work uh, being done from support of our, um, of our co-workers, how uh, information, but also um, support them on having being healthy mentally and physically, supporting with the uh, competence development to the business when we transform 100% from cash and carry to online with new services, click and collect, drive through uh, new remote planning and, and selling of kitchens and, and uh, wardrobes. So a lot of entrepreneurship in, in the business perspective. And third, what is one of the things that we are more proud is this support that we have been giving to the communities. Thank you so much. It is indeed an impressive work that needs to be done. But sometimes we say that with something bad always comes something good. And we have seen that IKEA is involved in several commitments uh, supporting the Polish society when it comes to hospitals, when it comes to critical uh, infrastructure. Can you tell us more about how IKEA works and what you do uh, to support the Polish society in this crisis? Yes, uh, I think uh, as uh, Invar Kamprat, our founder, says, as, uh, yeah, after or behind any crisis, it, it takes the best of you. And I think this is one of the things that we get from this situation. Um, uh, Inca Global uh, uh, has uh, already shared that uh, we are going to contribute with 26 million euros. And in the case of, of Poland, will be 4.5 million sloty in order to support uh, different communities. And we have been focusing in two. In one is the ones that have been more affected by COVID, and the other is the ones that are having supporting in that direction. And in this, we have been cooperating in, the, in order to understand the needs uh, with, uh, with the government, with all, uh, other NGOs, with any other associations, so in order to understand the needs. And uh, this is how we realized that, uh, for example, uh, critical infrastructures or quarantine centers was one of the focus area for us that we contributed with our product, with the furniture, but also, for example, homeless or, um, or uh, elderly people or even all of those who are in the hospitals, uh, we have been cooking meals for them. So we have been uh, trying to understand the needs and contribute to that. And now what we are doing is thinking a little bit what will be the long term, uh, because we know that the COVID and the isolation could have some kind of effect in some parts of the population. And we want to focus especially on kids and what 
could be the consequence on that and how can we uh, support and, and uh, the organizations that will take care of the kids after COVID? One of the core uh, values of uh, IKEA globally has always been sustainability. Right now, there is a global discussion about how to maintain the transformation to a green and sustainable economy when we are in the middle of a crisis. How do you reason around this and how do you actually manage to keep up the sustainability work in, the, in, in these difficult times? Yeah, I think uh, the sustainability is really embedded in our vision, uh, which is uh, to create a better everyday life for the many people. And we know and we always say that many things are changing, but uh, what is not changing and will not change is our vision and our culture and our values. So that is the ones that we want to maintain. And for that, uh, we know that we have uh, one commitment that we have done and we want to continue working on it, and it's to be people and planet positive by 2030. And this has not changed. And also we see that uh, now there are many opportunities on what you say, how are we going to recover for COVID in a sustainable way? Uh, last week we signed a green recovery alliance with many other uh, companies in Europe in order to yeah, to be responsible. And, 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 and I think this uh, COVID situation has make of us, all of us uh, think a lot you know, about what means to have a more healthy, more sustainable and more comfortable life you know, at home, but also uh, in the planet. So we really believe that um, we need to continue with that one and uh, we are committed to, uh, to continue working in that direction. Thank you so much, Carolina, for taking your time to share with us how IKEA works uh, in this new reality uh, that we have now. And together with IKEA and other Swedish companies, the Swedish Embassy in Warsaw will work hard to uh, minimize the negative consequences of the corona crisis and also, of course, to keep up the Swedish sustainability work. Thank you so much again for taking your time and I wish everyone good health. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.